Hello everyone, welcome to Ishwari Tanisha channel. This is Ishwari Ma'am and today in this video we are going to study about the packing percentage in face centered cubic unit cell that is in FCC and this is from the chapter solid state. So students first let us draw the unit cell for FCC. So draw the unit cell. So this is the unit cell for FCC. So you know that in any unit cell at the corner the particles will be present. So here one particle here. So this are corner particles. So here then here. Okay, so these are the particles which are present in the corner and in face centered cubic unit cell even in the face particles will be present. So this is the top face in a unit cell how many face will be there students. So totally six faces will be present. There will be six faces in the FCC unit cell. So one at the top. So here there will be one unit cell uh, sorry one particle and in this phase one in this phase one then down this face one and then front one and back side one so front there will be one and back side there will be one so count totally how many particles are present in the face one two three four five six so totally there are six particles in the face so the first step will be we have to calculate what is the rank Okay, what is the rank of this FCC unit cell? So students, I have taught you how to calculate the rank in the first video. So if you have not watched, you can watch in the uh, playlist. So let me teach how to calculate the rank of this FCC unit cell. So to calculate the rank, you should know how many particles are present here. That is, there are two types of particles here, isn't it? So which are the two types of particles? One is the particles which are present in the corner. So these are called as corners, corner particle and this will be the particle which is present in the face. So in the corner totally how many particles are present? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So corners, you can see 8 particles. And you know that corner particles will be shared by 8 unit cell. So each one will be shared by one unit, uh, 8 unit cell. Therefore 1 by 8 which will be equal to 1. And in the face. So in the face how many particle you can see. So totally 6 faces are there. So 6 particles will be present. So 6 into. You know that each particle will be shared by 2 unit cell. So 1 by 8. Two. So this is equal to 3. So totally how, may, how much it is? 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So what is the rank of FCC? Rank of FCC is found to be 4. So this is the first step to calculate the packing percentage in FCC. Okay, what is the second step now? The second step will be you should calculate what is the relationship between the uh, between A and R. So find the relationship between A and R. So what is A? A is called as edge length. R is called as radius of the atom. So let us calculate the relationship between A and R now. So students before calculating. So here you can see that there. Uh, let us consider only the topmost face. So this is the face. You can see how many particles here 1, 2, 3, 4 and one particle is present in the face. So let me consider only these particles 1, 2, 3. So only these particles let, uh, let me take. So we are going to take the topmost face. So this is the so this is the upper face what I am drawing this one. Okay, so in that you can see four corner particles are there, isn't it? One, two, three, four. So totally four corner particles are present and one is present at the face. So we are going to consider only this. So students now, you can see here, these three particles will be actually touching each other. 
okay they are not far away from each other they are touching each other only for convenient purpose we are drawing it far away so draw this bigger so that it will touch each other so first one second one and third one so this are the three atoms which are touching each other so now take this edge length as a okay from here to here the edge length will be a same way from here to here the distance is a so we call it as edge length okay now let us consider this distance okay let me draw this separately so that we can understand clearly okay i'll draw this three particles that is this three particles 1 2 3 so this is one this is two and this is third one three particles all are of equal size so here maybe one is small and one is big actually all are of equal size okay so this is the center of this atom this is the center of this atom and this is the center of this atom okay now so from here to here from here to here take the edge length as a same way from here to here okay from here to here the edge length you have to take it as a okay now draw line from here to here this is called as face diagonal face diagonal okay so face diagonal which is face diagonal from here to here we call that as face diagonal so students you know that atoms are spherical in shape so from here to here this will be the radius of this atom take it as small r same way from here to here small r from here to here small r from here to here small r so this is the radius of the atom so now let us apply pythagoras theorem to find out the face diagonal by applying by applying pythagoras theorem so students you would have studied pythagoras theorem in your 10th standard itself isn't it so in a right angle triangle so now this is a right angle triangle uh, so now uh, you can ask where is the right angle so one angle should be 90 degree isn't it so this will, will be 90 degree so the opposite side we call this as hypotenuse so how many r are uh, r's are there count 1 2 3 4 so 4 time r whole square is equal to a square plus a square a square plus a square so this will be equal to 16 r square is equal to a square plus a square is 2a square so next step a keep one side two you bring it to the other side so a square will be equal to 16 r square divided by 2 so next step what we are going to do is we are going to shift square root to square to the other side so a will be equal to square root of so 16 we can write it as 4 square and then into r square divided by square root of 2 so 4 uh, root and square will get cancelled even this will get cancelled so you will be getting 4r divided by square root of 2 is that clear so what is the value of a a will be equal to 4r divided by square root of 2 so this is the relationship between edge length a is called as edge length r is called as radius so now we need to calculate the uh, packing percentage so let me calculate here packing percentage okay so first let us calculate the uh, packing fraction so packing fraction is equal to so rank of the unit cell rank is nothing but the total number of atoms so how much we got 4 so 4 into what is the volume of the uh, uh, atom volume of the atom is nothing but volume of the sphere this you should remember which is 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by uh, volume of the unit cell volume of the unit cell is taken as a cube so this is equal to 4 into 4 by 3 into pi value you can take it as 22 by 7 into r cube divided by a cube so what is the value of a a is 4r divided by root 2 so substitute here 4r divided by root 2 whole cube 
okay now this we have to simplify so this is equal to 4 into 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into r cube into so this one bring it to the numerator so it will be 2 whole cube divided by 4 cube into r cube okay 4 r whole cube will be 4 cube into r cube so now see what and what you can cancel here so r cube r cube will get cancelled and then uh, here 4 cube will be 4 4 are 16 16 4 are will be 64 or we can write 3 4s here so here you can see 1 4 1 4 getting cancelled another 4 and another 4 will get cancelled then cancel with 2 2 1s are 2 1s are 2 2s are 4 and here uh, cube root of 2 uh, root 2 whole cube so root 2 whole cube you can write it as root 2 into root 2 into root 2 so this is root 2 square into root 2 so this two combine together so this will get cancelled and you will be getting 2 root 2 so here the value of this will be 2 root 2 so see here 2 and 2 will get cancelled so finally what you will be getting here so you can see 11 11 into square root of 2 divided by and in the denominator you have 7 3 is a 21 so this is equal to 11 uh, value of root 2 is found to be 1.414 divided by 21 so divide this you will be getting 0 0.74 so now this is packing fraction so packing percentage so packing uh, last step packing percentage or efficiency we call okay so packing efficiency will be equal to 0 0.74 into 100 which will be equal to 74 percent so this is called as packing efficiency okay so students uh, here is a homework uh, homework for you that is packing efficiency we have calculated as 74 percent so packing percentage or we call it as efficiency okay so packing efficiency is found to be 74 percent meaning is in this cube 74 percent of the volume will be occupied by the atoms so now i want you to calculate the void percentage void percentage so this is your homework so i already told you what is the meaning of void void means empty space so what is the volume of empty space present in the uh, FCC unit cell. So that will be your homework. So students find out and write in your uh, write in the comment box. I'll meet you in the next video, students. Bye bye.